Our next home is in San Francisco Bay, California. It's a beautiful place to live, but earthquakes are a worry, particularly for architect Eugene Sway's elderly parents. San Francisco Bay area of California is very prone to earthquakes, and so they wanted an absolutely safe house. So Eugene turned to nature for inspiration, and he discovered the tardigrade. And the tardigrade is a very tiny little creature that is the most indestructible living organism on the planet. It can, we can withstand 270 degrees Celsius freezing, uh, toxic gas, boiling. It, it, it survived for uh, 10 days in outer space, the first animal in the world that could do that. So I looked at this, this indestructible creature and it gave me many hints about how to design for, for disaster. The first thing he noticed was the tardigrade's oval shape. So by curving the outline of his house design, he windproofed it. All floors, walls, and ceilings were built as one unit from blocks of recycled styrofoam cups strengthened with concrete and steel rods. This kind of continuous construction dissipates the force of earthquake tremors on the house. If some other kind of disaster strikes, the styrofoam blocks are so packed together that no air can get through, making them fireproof. Their plastic coating ensures they're also waterproof. Two massive convex windows act like magnifying glasses and flood the central atrium with natural sunlight. The I-shaped lens on the south side is angled low to catch the light and heat of the dim winter sun, but not the hot summer sun. The round windows may look a little odd, but there's a very good practical reason to use them. The Domical window lets in 30% more light and it's 200 times stronger than a flat window. Inside, a user-friendly ramp leads up to his parents' bedrooms. One thing they wanted was no stairs. They knew as you aged that stairs would be hard to negotiate. So everything in this house is ramps. And because this is an earthquake-proof house, the ramps, and just about everything else, are curved. So in an earthquake, you're, 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 sometimes you get jolted around and you hit things. Now in a typical house, you'd hit the edge of tables, you'd hit uh, uh, bookshelves, you'd hit uh, all kinds of straight angled objects, and that can hurt. But I knew that uh, if things were curved, then you would glance away. There's a tendency to, to ricochet off off these surfaces, so everything here is curvilinear. The effort and detail Eugene put into the design for his parents' indestructible house are impressive. But like a lot of parents, they didn't quite get the lengths their son had gone to. The first question was, uh, how many bedrooms? Where are they? Uh, which way to the kitchen? You know, things like that. Very, very matter-of-fact kinds of questions. and surprisingly matter-of-fact about the, 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 the shape and the, the, the form of the house. As it happens, the neighbors were more impressed. The new neighbors have actually told me that they're moving into the neighborhood because of the house. And, uh, and they're, they're actually very proud to be in the neighborhood of this house. This house is, is, has become a kind of a beacon or a, a symbol of the neighborhood. 